Good morning, seventh graders. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that you are all doing a wonderful job on your still life colored pencil. Just a few reminders that I want to put out there for you guys. When you are using colored pencil to color in an artwork, you want to make sure that you really look carefully at the colors that you're seeing. A lot of the times we look at an object or um, like the grass or a vehicle or um, anything and we tend to only say that it looks like one color. So, oh yeah, it's brown. The trunk on a tree is brown or the car is blue. But re really when you t take it into consideration and really look at, at it closely, there are a lot of colors that are within an object. So for example, I'm using my succulent from my still life as an example today. And if you look at the foliage part, which is the green, now if someone said, okay, if we went up to a, say, second grader and said, what color is the plant? They're gonna say green. Now for me, if someone says, well, what color is the plant? I'm gonna say, well, I see some green, I see some yellow, I see purple, I see orange, um, I see black, brown, uh, gray, um, tan. There are a lot of colors in there. So for me, just when I was grabbing colors alone, these are how many colored pencils I have just for the foliage part of the, um, of the plant. So it's not like I just have the color green. That's not going to work. I have green, purple, yellow, orange, red, orange, tans. So really take the time to look at what colors you are truly seeing in every object. Now, going on to the actual artwork over here, I also want to show you that along with figuring out what colors you see in the object, you also need to think about then your pressure and the amount of um, colors you're gonna put in that area. So if you look at what I've already done, I've already gone in and added, you used light green, dark green, yellow, orange, red, brown, purple, pink, because those are all the colors that I saw within that area. So it's all about building it up and layering it when you go in. So for me, if I set up my still life here, how I had it, and let's just say I'm gonna go to this little leaf now too. What I do is I start with the green. So I'm starting in with the green as kind of the base color. So you can see I just kind of outlined where the green is. And I pretty much see green everywhere. So I'm lightly putting in green around. And then there's kind of this pink color that I see. It's actually called mauve, this pink. So I'm gonna layer in, and again, I'm not pressing super hard, I'm just layering it in. That kind of creates more of a brown color to it. Um, I see a lot of yellow on the sides where it's kind of brighter. And then it's definitely, now I'm going in with a red, because along the edges, there's some red color. And now you can see I'm starting, so the leaf that I, or the leaf that I actually just colored was this one right here. So you can see after you get a, a base down, then you can go back in and really make sure that you're getting the values. So making sure that it's dark enough, bright enough. Colored pencil. Uh, takes a lot of patience because it takes a lot of time to build up the color. Now, when you are done 
And again, some of you might not get done completely today, and I understand that. But when you are done working today, I would like you to send me uh, another photo so I can comment on it, give you any suggest suggestions. One thing I can give you all a little advice, make sure you're thinking about the table that it's resting on or the ground that it's resting on. You don't want to forget that in your artwork. So if you have a perfume bottle, a box, and like a piece of candy, those aren't just going to be floating. You need to have a surface. For me, mine's kind of unique because mine is really zoomed in and you don't see a tabletop that everything's resting on because I zoomed in really far on my objects. But a lot of you have your objects where you can see the tabletop. Make sure you color that in to ground your object. You can include your shadows as well. So that's another thing to start thinking about. So for today, continue. Really think about your colors that you see in all your objects. Layer, blend. Layer just me layer and blending are kind of the same thing. So you put different colors that you see on top and then you um, interchange them. And then also don't forget about your background, specifically what your objects are resting on. All right, and if there's ever any questions, make sure you email me, message me through Canvas. Uh, I know it's hard when you're working and you don't know if you should do something or not. Just ask me. All right, good to see you guys.